Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Simone Sharice here and today in this video I wanted to show you guys the difference between two different kinds of laces One that will melt in your skin like this and one that just looks so outright fake and it's not really the best of the best Okay, so this is the lace that's being sold on the market many companies use this lace this lace is the one that's kind of like the one that won't really melt into your skin and it's not going to be as seamless. You might think this looks, you know, kind of okay if you just bleach the knots, but you're going to have a harder time making this unit melt into your skin. Three ways you can you can tell if a lace is just like, you know, the cheap stuff or it's going to be a little bit thicker. Okay, it's a thicker lace. It's not as thin and it's not as stretchy. The lace is going to be a weird color. It's either going to be a lighter color, um, it's going to be ridiculously white, or it's going to be that greenish, grayish, weird looking lace color. Another way to tell if it's not the best lace is the price point. If it's entirely cheaper, it is obvious that it's not going to be top notch and top quality. So here we have our transparent lace. And you can just see the entire difference. So it's more transparent. You can kind of see straight through to my shirt. Um, I'm going to put my arm right here. You can see how it kind of disappears a little bit on my hand. And it's not as white. It is much more stretchier than the last one. Okay, And that's really important. This is what's going to lay down on your skin and melt into your skin. Whether you use glue, gel, spray or just do it glueless so this is the one that you really want to invest your money in all right so i have them both side by side this is the one that's not the best and this is the undetectable lace okay so there is a difference i'm going to go even closer for you guys just really focus on the color of the lace it's lighter so now this so right here is the one that isn't the best Again, I'm showing it to you while it's on my head. And then this is the one that is the best, okay? So I hope you guys understand the difference between both and how to weed them out. Now, I went I'm doing entirely glueless, okay? When I say glueless, I mean no gel spray, um, any kind of adhesive to hold it down. I'm just using li literally a headband because it's just so much more comfortable for me. Now, I went ahead and I dyed this hair red. It did not come red, in case you guys were wondering. I dyed it red. Um, I think I saved what I used. If I remember, it will be down below for you guys to go ahead and look at. If it's not down below, then I just don't remember. <laughs> I have so much dyes in my cabinet that I'm just trying to get rid of them. So I was like, okay... Two type of reds, let's buy, let's do, okay? So here I am just hot combing the hair going straight back. I'm just going to go ahead and style this unit for the rest of the video. Again, I kept it simple. So here I took my mousse. So th honestly, this is the only product that I'm using in the video. I used no other products. <laughs> this was all. And to get my hair to be really flat. Now, this was a full lace wig. I didn't even realize that until I put it on my head. I'm like, crap. I'm like, crap, this is a full, entire full lace wig. And when I say crap, I mean, it's a pro and a con because sometimes a full lace wig just takes more time to flatten. Um, sometimes you have some amazing ones that just flatten out instantly, but this hair was naturally wavy uh, slash, I guess, curly. So um, it just needed a lot of TLC to go ahead and flatten it. Honestly, I should have just wore it curly because the red with the curls was so beautiful. I just don't know really why I didn't go ahead and do that. I did go ahead and keep a simple middle part because I was like, you know what? I'm always doing a side part. Let's switch it up on you all. I was going to say you hoes, but... <laughs> then I went ahead and just perfected it. I had to actually pluck this. There was a lot of hair in the parts where... In the areas where you needed to part. I find that so many companies are doing this. And I honestly, I just... I don't know why. <laughs> I guess because, you know... You know, well, I, I see why. I'm lying. Sometimes with lace frontals, they tend to thin out in the top part. So it makes sense to put a lot of hair. It just takes more TLC to flatten that crap down. Because I'm telling you, honey, if you don't, it will look high and it will rise throughout the day. So I just feel like it's so important for you to really go in with that hot comb. Now, this part amazed me because I was like, wow, that lace is nowhere to be found besides by the edges of the lace. So I was, I mean, the ends of the lace where you can see it's kind of like uh, scraggly. But this lace is so amazing. I loved it, and I love how it just stuck down with only mousse. Now, the parts by the ears, you're going to always have them dog flaps. <laughs> so some, that's something you can't really get rid of unless you are going to gel or glue it. It is what it is. I put my headband up closer than usual, as you can see, because I was like, let's see if it'll stay down more. But it 
did stay down towards the end. But if you don't put anything down, you might have a little bit of a hard time of keeping that down. And if anything, just cover your hair. Just cover your ears with your hair. So now I'm going to just scoop some hairs into place. And then I went ahead, yo, I haven't used this black head wrap in so long, this paper wrap. But I felt like because I wasn't using any kind of thing to hold my wig down, I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and use a spray again because, I mean, let's go ahead and use this black wrap because, um, you know, it does hold it down with mousse. I think the mousse and that just reacts so well together and does keep your hair in place. Take it off now, take it off. Ooh. And then... Right here, I'm just doing some last minute hot comb tings, okay? So, what did you learn in this video today? Today in this video, you practically learned the difference between a, a Swiss lace and the difference between a transparent, non-detectable lace. Which one do you want to go towards? You really want to go towards the non-detectable lace because it looks amazing. And trust me, honey, even in the times when it's hot, even though it's about to be fall, you don't really have to wear a headband. I mean, you don't have to wear gel, glue, or anything. All you need is a headband and it's going to stay in place. With the Swiss lace, you're going to need something because it's so hard, white, and itchy that you're going to need it to like lay down and flat for it to look natural. So, hope you enjoyed this video with Love Me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, 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 oh.